Uh, the most recent tool was another tool, uh, blog, was this uh, blind Altman plot. This is, by the way, a full disclaimer, this was created by ChatGPT. There would be, on the YouTube channels, there would be videos of me generating this text. This uh, motion particle we haven't touched in a while. This is just to relax. But then, uh, yes, there's actually a future direction with this one. Uh, can you regenerate the same text? It's not doing it, it's not just copying it, it's uh, changing it. The reason I'm doing it is because I want that uh, text to speech. Uh, this is one of the main uh, applications that we have. And yes, there was a similar tool published a while back. That one didn't have the uh, robot option, it would just be playing against uh, yourself. Uh, so I don't know if we should get rid of it. I think it's, uh, I don't know, let me know what you think. I think it's uh, feeling, fulfilling a different uh, function there. So it's, uh, well, the new one is significantly different. First you can add the uh, noise to the mix. It's not happening, it's happening between waveforms, not uh, within the same uh, waveform. So when you adjust this, it will only affect the next incoming wave like this, that looks abnormal. Yeah, the the robot in this case should be starting making the uh, mistakes. Yeah, it got one uh, false alarm there. Uh, when the noise is at the max, at the maximum. Okay, so let me know if you try this out. And what do you think about it? Yeah, we can get the GPT-4, essentially giving a different uh, perspective on this. Also the fact that the machine is always uh, a winning the human. That's not nice, is it? So pop an image into GPT-4 in the description. Come up with some new ideas to improve, the, improve it. It's generating fairly slowly today. The bot is a bit lazy. Start uh, developing in a second. We have this uh, other application, a neural network, a ne neural network example thing that we will be trying to develop. Okay, that that's pretty generic uh, description. Do I get a higher score than a human? Than a than a human? <laughs> I am human, am I? Uh, I don't know anymore. I thought for a second there I had a higher score than the machine. But yes, you can, uh, if you rely on the machine, yeah, it had one miss, I don't know why, I have to check its uh, algorithm. That's probably when I did the beta, is when I didn't do the miss, the machine did. Now we have the same score, I think I missed something else actually, not, uh, not the same waveform. Ooh, now it's becoming a bit faster. I think there is a video of me reaching about like thousand points and becomes uh, crazy fast. So uh, let me know if you tried this and what score you reached. There is currently no leaderboard or anything like that. Just, uh, you know, self-reporting. Well, this is also why I'm doing this session so that I can get, uh, oops, missed that. Can get the uh, feedback on this uh, stuff. And no, I don't have a CEO or anyone uh, Whispering in my ear it was just me trying to check the sound. The bot is already like uh, has double the points. Well, because humans are really good at getting distracted. I wasn't paying attention to the waveforms. And if this was real data, the patient would have been misdiagnosed or like underdiagnosed, not diagnosed correctly, properly. Well, I'm not a clinician, so so the patient, that hypothetical patient, is very lucky. But I'm pretty sure even the best clinicians get distracted as well. So this is uh, something that can help a lot. 